love. And like any great love story, the story of Alex and Megan began exactly where you think it did, on Tinder. <laughs> I was privileged enough to get to know Alex throughout residency, and when you spend that much time with someone, you, get, you pick up a few things about them. For instance, Alex was late to everything. Well, that first date with Megan was no exception. Alex was in fact running so late with the first date that it didn't happen at all. Breaking all Tinder etiquette, Alex actually picked up his phone and called Megan that night, profusely apologizing for not meeting up with her. You see, he was on call and things had gotten really busy. Megan, being the huge sweetheart that she is, accepted Alex's apology, and the two went on a date shortly thereafter. Megan came over to Alex's place, and they talked the night away, up until and past 2 a.m. That kind of instant connection, that comfort level is so rare and so special that the two knew they had to go on a second date together. Now on their second date, Alex was on call again. As they were just getting together to see each other, Alex got called into the hospital to put a broken wrist back in place. Alex told Megan, look, this will take me about 30 minutes. Megan, again being the most understanding human on earth, told Alex that she would come and wait in the lobby until his work was done, except Alex's work never finished that night. While he was in the hospital, he got call after call for more and more broken bones. And Megan, Megan was still in the hospital lobby. If that doesn't sound like true love to you, I don't know what does. Those first two dates are a reflection of what any successful relationship is built on. Frank and honest communication, even when you know you've messed up. Patience and, and compromise, even when it comes at the expense of your own time and well-being. Forgiveness and teamwork, because you know deep down, whatever may be happening in that moment, the person across from you cares about you and is thinking about you, even when they're not by your side. Megan and Alex have exemplified these tenets since the moment they've met. And as I've watched them grow over the years, it's clear that these bonds have only grown stronger. I need to see what's behind this Tinder algorithm because honestly, and with every fiber in my being, I truly believe there is no one on this earth that is more perfect for Alex than Megan and no one on this planet that is more perfect for Megan than Alex. And while this day is a celebration of that undeniable bond, I and everyone else here cannot wait to see what you two bring the world in the forever after that comes next. Megan, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. All that I am and all that I have, I give to you this day and always. Alex, I give you this ring as a sign of my vow. All that I am and all that I have, I give to you this day and always. Alex Rothy and Megan Sutphin, it is my great honor and privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> And it is my distinct <laughs> privilege to introduce you for the first time, Dr. and Mrs. Alex Rothy. You're like someone up in the shade, like a simple lemonade. And I love the taste, oh I love the taste. You're the only song but sing, like a lullaby of spring. In the morning rain, in the morning rain. Megan and I wanted to thank everybody for coming here tonight. I really appreciate um, y'all traveling all this distance. And, you know, a lot of you drove here, a lot of you flew, and it really means a lot to us. Megan, my sweet girl, you must know it has been a, one of my life's greatest joys and greatest privileges to be your mother. Caring for and protecting you as a young child over the years, helping to shape and support your life's decisions which have led you to this perfect place. My heart is filled with joy as we witnessed you join with Alex as your life partner through ups and downs, through thick and thin, and yes, through joys and sorrows. Life is not an easy road to travel, but it always 
certainly is easier to walk that road alongside the one special person who knows you best and who protects your heart. I love you both and wish you a blessed and fulfilling marriage. Congratulations. Free, always where you're meant to be And I'll go your way Yeah, I'll go your way Through your Megan, that I heard about you, that you were the one. And I told all of our friends about it. Alex told me how beautiful and driven and intelligent you are and that you weren't scared off by his internet browser history. <laughs> I know going forward, you guys are going to have great adventures and also have to mention that in your best man speech at my wedding, you, of course, had to urge me about bringing some little ones into the world. So I have two right now. So you got some catching up to do. All right, buddy? You know, here is to the family that we're born with and the family that we make along the way. And, of course, may all of your ups and downs occur between the sheets. So now, you're a married man, and I'm excited to welcome Megan into the family. I only hope you don't teach her the things you taught me. <laughs> Chase around with cans of Axe or deodorant as much as they smell great. Megan, I knew from the second that you two met that you were going to be the one that Alex would spend the rest of his life with. And congratulations on finding your one true love. As you step into the next stage of your life, I want you to think about this. You're never too old to be a little silly. Alex obviously can attest to this. And it's always nice to have a little fun. So now that you're married, the fun and silliness will never stop. So in celebration of your marriage, let's raise a glass to toast my brother and his beautiful bride. And to quote one of Alex's timeless catchphrases, let's get weird. Oh, my love, gonna get